Yo, Joburg, everybody. My name is Steve. This is G.I. Joburg, and I'm joined by my buddy. This is Rob. Yeah, that's me right here, welcoming you all to a festive episode. <laughs> we are recording Christmas of 2023, for those of you watching this in the far-flung future. Whoa. So we've decided to do a watch-along of a very festive G.I. Joe episode from the first season of the Sunbow cartoon entitled Cobra Claws Are Coming to Town. Oof. So if you want to watch along with us, Cue it up on a different screen. Do it. Otherwise, we will have it somewhere, either beneath or above us. Um, ensuring this video can never be monetized ever, but hey. we just love our viewers so yeah, much. Yeah, it's not about the money. It's about you guys subscribing and giving us your money separate from YouTube. And this is extremely easy content to create. Yeah. So, um, on the count of three, yeah. cue it up and uh, hit play in three, two, one. Oh my god, okay. Classic opening. <laughs> it would have been cool if they made it more Christmas themed though. It would have been more appropriate for a Christmas episode. True, kind of like The Simpsons. If yes. they had just uh, jazzed up the intro with like a, a holiday specific mm, moment. The, the ill-fated Cobra Mothership. Oh, may, the, may it rest in peace. Maybe if you're watching this in the future and Super 7 have somehow found a way to make that behemoth. You're watching this episode it. with this in its, with, with, with the ship in your presence. A real deal. Mm -hmm. Seems like a lot of people on the fence about buying that thing to begin with. People who like to have every G.I. Joe item under the sun mm. kind of pulled soft when it came to the mother. It's ship. weird, like some people were like, it's so big, but it's like you, you own things like a defiant and a flag. Mm. Oh, is this thing too big? It's just not Hasbro. I it's, suppose that's, well, yeah. But out still. of the flames of the mothership comes Flint. The de facto, Ooh. like, face of G.I. Joe at this point. Like, Duke's time as, like, number one. Taking a break. Disappeared very quickly, wouldn't you say? Yeah. No, it is, it is Roy and Dan and Thomas are responsible for this episode. There's no screenplay by someone and someone else as well. Wow. That's a lot of credits. I feel like I need to do some, some research. Oh, wow. Dusty. Very perfect character for holidays. <laughs> Hey, everyone's in their winter outfits. I love the fact that Shipwreck's got a blue overcoat, Dusty's in the tan. And they have a, an officially marked G.I. Joe Happy Holidays wagon. Uh oh, Robert right doesn't the... like. <laughs> Pure claws. His idea of Happy Holidays is destruction. If only it did have handles on the back of that cannon. It would be, uh, be way more useful. They seem to have corrected that with the Bumble Striker, which intends you to kind of put a character behind it. The Bumblebee Awe Striker. Yes. But an Awe Striker doesn't actually have a tow hitch. Mm. That's annoying. Mm. Instead of planting a giant bomb... Well, I suppose that's what we're led to believe Firefly is doing at that point. Yes. He's doing but also, things. what are they doing right now? They're just looking behind them? This is amazingly convenient. They stopped right outside that Incredible. cobra cave. And they just said, wow. <sighs> uh oh, evil, evil presence. It's a very convoluted plan. Oh, then again, it's a cartoon. So the sack was emptied out into the back. Yes, he emptied he didn't out just the sack. drop a sack in. No, 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 he emptied the sack out. So Firefly is Cobra's oh. analogue to center. Is that mm -hmm. what that's supposed to uh, imply? It brings you wonderfully explosive gifts for the holidays. Wow, they have way too many gifts. They're stockpiling them. <laughs> Her. That's pretty out there. Like, Blowtorch's accent is... <laughs> one of a kind. No, he's apparently from Ireland or Scotland or something. It's funny, that was a half-hearted Cobra attack and it missed them. But even like a full-intentioned Cobra attack would still miss them. Yeah. How do you tell the difference if you're a G.I. Joe operative? It's just the way it goes. Oh wow, they got a laser shield. That's pretty... Ooh. Wow! Surprise! It's the same thing we eat every year. <laughs> Is that a turkey or a chicken? I think it's a turkey. It's too big to be a chicken. <laughs> yeah, I might have guessed. Right. 
You'd be sad too if you were constantly muzzled. Muzzled? I mean, he's not even when he doesn't have the muzzle on, he's not enjoying the food either. Oh, good boy, Junk. No, oh, he's taking care of him. <laughs> Don't you want to eat something? Oh boy, I'm just not hungry. She's is he in the laser shield? Yeah. I suppose they don't activate that more often. They should use it, but that's probably something that they only thought about using for this episode. Convenient. Oh. Pathos for like a C-list character. That's so sad though, so his parents never spent any time with him. The holiday. And what's he doing? Spending his holidays on base. Yep, so... The cycle he's, continues. He's doing the same thing. Oh, giant light switch. <laughs> it's a Trojan horse. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, the scheme. The scheme just has multiple layers. Trojan rocket horse. I mean, oh, wow. in this situation, Junkyard would have an absolute field day. He would <laughs> just, just rip just raw. Oh, come on. That can't hurt. This is actually thing. so much fun. I mean, they have previously established that they are able to make robots. Um, but these are like tiny robots. Even better. It's actually blood. No. They're shrunk down. They're shrunk down to their action figure size. This is in okay, I Okay. This is even wilder than I thought. Meta, it was. hey? They're taking out the shield, are they? Yes they are. Ooh. And oh, the no, detection no, equipment. Detection equipment. Oh. Here we go. Here Some full size attack. Ah it's a, it's a firefly. Full on attack by one person. <laughs> and let's be honest, Firefly could probably have snuck in anyway. You didn't need them you didn't need this entire plan. This is very risky for Cobra, because I mean, if they just they're more vulnerable. Them, yeah, like I say, Junkyard would tear them up. Like, this is just more... Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Incredible. Embiggen! Whoa, even Embiggen's thing Even the toys! <laughs> <laughs> like, they were just regular toys snuck into uh -oh. that. You can't make them even bigger. Well, I mean, G.I. Joe is always going to be outnumbered. Like, at this stage of the team, what, they're only about two dozen? Yeah. And Maybe some green shirts? But, like, you'd think they'd be better equipped now. I mean, we, they just very recently had the whole issue with them. Um, the budget cuts. The budget cuts. But now they're, they're back to full power, so it's like... Ah, uh, but they look short staff for the holidays. Oh, it's the Named holidays. characters only. <laughs> Destro's winter outfit is the coolest of the cool. Yeah, I think of all the ones that we have on display here, it's pretty awesome. Telegraph our attack! No, we're about to attack, guys. That's, uh, no one, no <laughs> one take cover. She got hit. That's a proper hit, then. Mm. But if those weren't stun rays, they would have blown it. <laughs> it looks less effective than when they're tiny. Snakes are called robots. Hmm. Interesting. They're still what? playing them as un unmanned. Oh, so that we can destroy them. Or not. Oh, oh, oh. Out of all the equipment, like armored vehicles, etc., the snake is the one that's impervious to laser fire. Hey. Ooh. Oh, that this was a again. cool move. That was terrific. Ooh. Duke is going crazy. <laughs> and the pieces of... The shrapnel. Oh, oh man. That's the only way you can defeat a, 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 ro a snake, is with another snake. We demonstrate the supreme inconsistency of the cartoon <laughs> in like, basically a 10 second sequence. <laughs> These things are impossible to destroy. Oh, okay, now they're pretty easy to destroy. Uh oh, they hit him with the green gas. Whoa, That's even Polly, come on. 80s action trope. Can't shoot everybody, just... Gas them. Got to gas them. However, none of the Cobra operatives were wearing gas masks, so I guess they just. <gasps> this is how they breastfeed. They were downwind, oh, upwind. Because Cobra Commander loves isolating Duke. <laughs> arena of. I will set up another arena right now. 
Destro. Imbecile. This molecular reducer and larger represents a decade. Molecular reducer and larger. Oh, how many irises does she have? You're gonna attack a city with our gear? But we're understaffed! We don't have hardly anything to attack with. Uh oh. Dicks join Cobra again. There's a reason why we haven't seen Zartan up until this point. Uh oh. Full reveal. He's, wow, he's finally competent in this cartoon. So, presumably, the city that this base is closest to is then Keystone City. <laughs> Sound effect. Oh. I'm trying to remember if there was other references to Keystone City in the cartoon series. So far, I mean, Maybe Captives of Cobra? Maybe? If anyone who knows the cartoon better than we do, you can tell us below in the, car the cartoons. The cartoon comments. <laughs> wow, they have an entire meat freezer. So isn't being hung in that manner going to kill you because you can't breathe? I think so, yeah, over time. The kind of the strain. Mm. Brutal. <laughs> Whoa, okay. The meat. He's... Clearly that, that could be another uh, action, action figure that Super 7 put out. <laughs> Just like that, that Rocky toy. <laughs> they like add, add a thing of meat. <laughs> Yeah, and have shipwrecks legs kind of yeah, wrapped around it. <laughs> Famke Janssen and GoldenEye style. Meat. <laughs> Nothing gets between me and my meat. Look at that. There's some compromising <laughs> material right there. So, uh, shipwreck, what do you like to do in your spare time? Mm, that meat locker. Nice. What we didn't well, see was yeah. the next frame of him like, like slamming his head on the, on the floor. <laughs> Oh! What? Uh. <laughs> no one thought to chain junk up. Just yeah, chain. he's just sitting there very... I'm mm. not crazy about the animal cruelty here. He's not doing anything. No, cover commander. <laughs> he put a bow on it. <laughs> he's feeling festive, that's for sure. Hmm. Double entendre? Not oh even. my goodness. He just gave them the key. My reduced and larger. I'm very good at building these things, but not very good at naming them. Was he just monologuing to himself? The yeah, he was just oh. talking to himself. Seems the arm is not as strong on the back. Yeah, from the front is where the real stuff's at. Yeah. All the desert vehicles. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Where's Dusty when you need him? Yeah, that's how he practices his monologue. He's just constantly just throwing away to himself. himself. He's like, this would be a good line when I have an audience. I miss actual commercial breaks because in that moment we would have been seeing vintage yeah, toy commercials. Commercial I wish items. somehow Hasbro would reinsert those. Please, man. Just make these a full half hour long. Yeah. It's so much cooler. Oh, oh man, I've had dreams about being able to like reduce the size of things. That would be amazing. Increase the size of things. Just make everything the greatest scale in the world. Yeah. Oh, then I'd, I'd definitely start collecting classified things. <laughs> oh, Super 7 Ultimates, even. Um, maybe not Sideshow smother figures. Him, smother him! Wow. 
Okay, well, cover girl's in charge right now, I guess. Take back the base, G.I. Joe. <sighs> so that's not the second time that thing got broken. Oh, it Polly, no! That's terrifying. <laughs> oh, no. There is an animation frame of shipwrecks. No, it's <laughs> amazing. Oh, Polly. That's, I mean, that's a nice background to, to have. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh, too much. Too much. All right, okay, good. Just enough. Oh. <gasps> oh, he put him onto the little table. It, it's upsetting to me a little bit, seeing a bird, an injured bird, being laid across the table like that. You know, it's, it's, Polly's gonna save the day. Spoilers if you wanna watch this. Yeah, we had some vehicles left over. Mainly Cobra vehicles. Mmm. Now that's something that I never really did much of as a child, was to like have Joe's operating Cobra vehicles and Cobra's operating Joe vehicles. The cartoon did it more than once. Mm. There were always opportunities to steal the enemy's equipment. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, it, it, I mean, it helped, I think my, I my, my playtime was impoverished. Oh, I... also, did you notice how far away Keystone City is from the Joe's? 33 miles. Mmm. Who are these mooks? Oh, Why are they driving Motormaster? Oh no. Hey? Sunbow animation, I'm sure they were using... It's probably easier, yeah. even has purple windows. Like the Transformer. Yeah, they probably had like extra frames of... Fuck, I don't know, cartoon. Boy, he literally just brought Duke with him. To gloat. But like, Ooh, Duke has access. Guy strike looks so good. It's a gorgeous shot though. The pull of the focus. Mm. It's something that like, I think it was like a sunbow thing. Mm. I didn't see it much in other cartoons. Yeah, they're kind of pulling a focus. Yeah, yeah certainly I not in the Deke series. Mm. Correct us if we're wrong. Please do. Down in the cartoons below. Love the fact the dreadnoughts are on the bikes. <laughs> and finally, it's appropriate. they've got bikes. So actual bikes to ride. Actual bikes that have toys on them. Rams and Silver Mirages, of course. They look much better on them than the Joe's. The leader gets the Silver Mirage. Yeah. Because it falls apart, piece of crap. <laughs> no, I love the Silver Mirage, truly. Oh, that's rad. Blowtorch on the claw. Absolutely wild. Uh-oh. Oof. Camera shake. <laughs> if you didn't know the relative scale of things, that's what tells you. It's like, oh. Things are way too big. And they even chose to animate like the gusts of wind. Like, yeah. It's a big bird. It's oh, generated it's a, a lot. Christmas episode, you gotta pull out all the stops for the animation. True. Except putting anything into the intro sequence. No, yeah, okay, that's a missed opportunity. But gotta Come forgive on, Duke. him. Duke's gotta get out of those cuts. Wait, is that, that's not the scale, is it? The, um, the asp. To the... To the stinger. That can't be to scale. Uh, so why should it feels like cannon be smaller? I feel like it should be a bit smaller. It feels like he's too big for it, or it's it's too much the same size. I don't know, but it depends on the shot as well. And then I'd say it's close to the the actual sizes of the toys as as, as you're likely to get. Everything's very nicely rendered. Look at yeah, the gun. Really, You've really good gotten in there. Like overall, yeah. Oh. Oh, death, road rash. Defeated. Finished. Oh, and they rode over him. They could have rode over him. They could have literally have ridden him to death, but they didn't. I suppose they'd, they're not used to these vehicles, so... This is awesome. Ooh. I had completely forgotten that the factions swap vehicles. Yeah. This is actually a lot of fun. <laughs> Too true. Um, you must have a moment of like flinching it's like, when it's like. Oh, I'm shooting my own vehicle, but it's planted by an enemy. Yeah. 
Oh no, don't take out the maulers. This is actually... I mean, it would be the armor expert who takes out tanks, and it would be the, the helicopter pilot who takes out the helicopters. Exactly. They're like, you got it. But like, the, the great thing about this is that even if Cobra loses, if, they can, like, if their plan doesn't work, they still win because they've actually forced G.I. Joe to destroy their motor pool. Hmm. And replaced it with inferior Cobra equipment. Yeah, but I mean, yes, they replace them, but they won't keep them. I mean, I, you know, you don't just keep the, you know, you know if you're in the battle, you're not going to swap out your M16 for AK-47, you get home and keep the AK-47. You know, you'll get back to whatever your standard equipment is. And that also assumes that G.I. Joe technology is superior to begin with. I mean, a lot of people would argue it's the other way around. I care about technology is much better. I think Cobra technology, just like the Soviet Union weapons, are more <laughs> mass-produced. Um, made to be more rugged, more cheaply made, more rapidly produced. Mm. Um, just because the philosophy is force of numbers. That's Cobra's thing. They just have like thousands of cannon fodders uh, to every hundred Joes. Duke is dead. He's d- oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Don't crash him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't clench him too much. Them. I feel like it would be cool if Junkyard also got enlarged. That would have been so cool. Animal Force Unite. That would be amazing. Oh no, my worst nightmare come true. Hiya, Polly. Polly want a giant cracker. <laughs> you eat me out of house and home. Is Duke getting sweet on Covergirl now? It's like I think he gets sweet on any of the females. Scarlet's on leave, so... Um, yeah, he's around. Smooth. Whoa, okay. He really is like the woman's... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like dude, dude, dude gets around, man. Duke and his harm. Whoa. <laughs> Jack Chow is not very happy at that moment. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. What, what happens then with the giant potty? Well, there, there's a throwaway line that they're like, okay, it's gonna have to stay like that until we fix the gun again. Alright. Overall, that was awesome. Lot of fun, actually. I mean, it's 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 cool to see them using the the vehicles of their enemies. I mean, I, we've never seen that before, at least mm. up to this point, where the, everyone was just swapped out. The fact that they weren't toys, I thought they were toys, but they were actually tiny little people. They got it's you, Rob. They got you. Complicated plan, but very good plan. A lot of a lot of fun. I can definitely give it two, two, two out of five. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm feeling festive. That's Ooh. a five out of five episode. Ah, Lots of fun, off the wall, memorable characters, uh, memorable moments. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm anyway. curious to research the screenplay that it was based on, and if that screenplay was ever then actually put into Maybe production cartoon. at any oh. level. Yeah, cartoon, be- film, pilot for a TV show. We need to see that. We do. I want to see it. But yeah, hopefully see you guys next year. 2024 is going to be a Big one, I'm sure, and I hope everyone has a good festive season. Enjoy the time with your family and your friends, and keep it <laughs> Joe Brick. Joe! Bye, guys. Goodbye.